Okay, so hi guys. Um, good day, no? Um, today, we are going to discuss about the regular output VAT. So on our last video, we have discussed no? um, the the basics ano the basics of the value added tax no the thresholds sino ba lang mga VAT tax payers no sa ano ang deadlines ano ang form na gamiton no um this type no we are going to discuss and focus on the regular output VAT no only on the um, output VAT so meaning um mas kaya ni last time no na discuss na to ang output VAT is um the VAT no nga gina or ang counterpart ng VAT sang sales. Okay, so let's start. Um, what are the different sources of regular output VAT? No, number one is the sales. <coughs> excuse me, the sale of VATable goods. No, the sale of VATable services, sale of VATable properties, and transaction deemed sales. Okay, so later may ada sang parang um, discussion on the transaction deemed sales. No, it's like a um uh, a transaction no nga maski dabi na ton indi sales but on the BIR na nga side no they are considered as um sales all right so next taxable transactions sa sale of goods of course the gross selling price no unless unreasonably lower or ginhungod nga ginubuan no next is the sale of services so like sales of services the gross receipts no sale of properties gross selling price as defined by the BIR and transaction deemed sales, the fair value of the property deemed um, sold. It can it can be also a prop property or an inventory, no? So depende. Okay. So now next, um, sale of valuable goods, no? So the sale of goods is subject to twelve percent VAT. Actually, all of them, no, are subject to twelve percent VAT. Okay. Excuse me. Based on the gross selling price, unless reasonably low, no. Gross selling price that is simply referred to as gross sales. So accounting gross sales, no. Um, if the selling price is unreasonably lower, or the word, no, the VAT shall be based on the fair value of the goods. No, the gross selling price deemed unreasonably lower when it is lower by more than thirty percent of the actual market value of the goods sold. So the fair value of the goods shall be determined by the Commissioner of Internal Revenue. And nonetheless, if one of the parties is the government, the output VAT shall, output VAT shall be based on the actual um, selling price. Okay? Uh, mina, kung ginungod siya, it should be based on the fair value no, ni product or ni goods. The output VAT on the sale of vatable goods is reported in the month of sale. Okay? Um, actually, ano? Uh, regardless, if um cash or receivable siya no kasi parang may nakita ko na nga do, do ruling no in case, in terms of the goods no in terms of the goods we should always count no um all of the receivables no receivables in cash sales should be part of that um gross sales okay sa services naman ya um dapat tanan cash sales lang no sa services do parang tanan cash sales kay gya based la sa gross um, um gross receipts no um, maski advance payment siya it's still part of that gross receipts no kasi dere sa goods siya um, pati receivables maski wala pa payment it should be part of the um vatable goods the same with accounting in uh, the same in taxation no pagabot sa purchases no kasi sa purchases kapag goods maski ang payables dala no kaso nagkakaroon ng parang conflict na later on in filing no kasi gamba hamba nila ang taxation is cash sales pero um, gamat-amat naman ang government subong um, parang convert into the actual the actual accounting practice in which you are um, considering no those transactions nga uh, um, like the receivables and the payables or the accrual method no kasi di ba ang baliton sa accounting accrual method is the only way no it's the only thing nga gina-record nato as part of the accounting cash ang uh, cash basis is actually an error no in the part of the uh, accounting okay next sale of vatable services so the sale of services is subject to of course 12% but based on the gross receipts so the gross receipts is the collection of income take na sa term niya collection so meaning cash cash sales no 
cash uh, basis, tanan nga cash nga nagsulod, considered as um, specialist services, parts and gross receipts. Okay? The output VAT, the sale of VATable services, is reported in the month of collection. Sa baboya, on the month of sale. So meaning the lot receivables. Okay? Next, ito, medyo maawa. Sale of VATable properties. So the sale, barter, of exchange of VATable real properties is subject to VAT on the gross selling price. Under the regulations, gross selling price means the higher of the higher of consideration or ang selling price, selling price, or the fair value of the property, whichever is higher. So amo nang sundon. So under the NRRC, the fair value of the real property is the higher um, between the zonal value or the fair value per assessor's office. The zonal value is actually a value assigned by the buyer on that specific or certain um, properties. No? ng assessors naman niya kung ano ang ina sa mga um, sa mga city hall or capital yata yon no kung ina sa city assessors well all right on that specific nga property but um hindi actual no um, assessors under sa assessors office mostly na da nga property is um undervalued for the reason nga kung layo layo na ang time no mga 20 years 30 years ng property then wala siya ma-assess ulit no hindi undervalued siya. Unlike sa zonal value, may parang updating na ginobra na si BIR in, in having that zonal value. So, most of the time, zonal value is higher than the fair value on sang-sang ang assessor's office. Right? So, in the absence of a zonal value, the gross selling price shall mean the fair value per assessment or consideration stated in the sales document whichever is higher ang sa kontrata. Alright? So if the gross selling price is based on the zonal value, The zonal value or assessed value shall be presumed to be exclusive of VAT. Meaning sa exclusive, wala pa nadala ang VAT. So the output VAT on the sale of VATable properties is reported in the month of sale or by installment method. So um, the output VAT on the sale of real properties may be reported in installment if the initial payment from such sale um, does not exceed 25% of the selling uh, price. Okay? Pwede niya sa mga... mga ano bala mga ng negosyo nila gabligi real properties no so mostly the amuning applicable sa ila right now next what is transactions deemed sale no may ari related example kung ano bala ang mga um, do common no nga transaction deemed sale so there are acquisition um, transactions involving goods or properties which are consumption in nature but are not coerced through a purchase transaction no inang mga ginggam may business kit ikaw ginggamit mo siya or gintaon mo ang certain na nga ano nga goods no para sa aton do do gin consume ta lang pero pag dating sa ila no parang may ara sa sang uh, equivalent na value so um, these transactions are not recorded as sales by the business no and could evade taxation mo na for amo nang reason niya nga man may ara ta di base karon gin pinang hatag naton no or gin kina gin consume naton and ang primary reason is to evade the taxation so nevertheless since these transactions are forms of consumption no they are considered deemed sales okay and for the subject of what no so ano ano ni sa number one, transfer use or consumption not in the course of business of goods or properties originally intended for sale or for use in the course of the business now an example niya no example nag nag ano ikaw imo imo negosyo is um like food no under sa food industry then ang ato supposed to be nga ibaligya ni mo gin consume mo o gin kaon mo or gin pakaon mo sa iban so what will happen no kasi So, ang intended niya is for selling ka so gin consume no if that's the case no mostly na considered siya as part of the transactions na deemed sales no ano pa distribution or transfer to number one, shareholders or investors share in the profits of a fat registered person for example imo negosyo um dilata no may dilata ka so so nagkaroon ngayon ng parang um, dividends no or share in profits between those uh, partners or shareholders no um, so anong matabo no thank you na to of course hindi 
Okay, for example, nagpadala ka 10 box, 10 box, or 10 boxes, 10 boxes of dilata sa mga ano mo, edi damo-damo, di ba? So, it has a value, medyo mahal. So, ang balo nila ka ni BIR ay base ka tax evade ka. So, you need to pay for that um, VAT na transaction. Kasi transaction, deem sale na siya. Next, creditors in payment or of debt or obligation, if may utang ka, ginbayad mo, isa 100 boxes na dilata, no? considered mo na siya as deem sale. So, consignment of goods, if actual sale is not made within 60 days following the date, such goods were consigned. Sa accounting, di ba? Ang balaton, as long as ara sa sakamot ni consignee eh, and wala siya mabaligyan ni consignee, eh, no? Part pa na siya sa inventory na ton, pero wala na ton siya gina-record as um, parang sales, no? Pero dire, no? Sa BIR, take note of this. If there is a consigned goods, kita ang consignor, then may kita consignee, eh, no? If within 60 days wala pa na mabaligyan ni consignee, eh, no? It is considered as already sold by the BIR. That's why it's very important yung ginabalik nila. No? Para hindi sila malabutan sining 60 days. Okay? Next, retirement from or cessation of business with respect to all goods on hand with their capital goods, stock in trade, supplies, materials, whether or not the business is continued by the new owner or successor. Nag-closing mo business, may bilhin ka pa nga inventories. No? Inang bilhin nga inventories nga na, it should be part sa ginatawag nga vatable sales. No? Or transactions deem sales. Okay? And cessation of status as a VAT registered person. So, nag ano ikaw na parang nagkaroon ka ng option to 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 back to to return back to um the percentage tax, no? So, pwede, no? Next, transfer use or consumption not in the ordinary course of business, okay? Si sound to talk. Um this of course when vatable ordinary assets are used for purposes other than their inter intended purpose, such as when Goods or properties held for sale are no longer sold but are transferred or disposed by other means other than sale, like being consumed. Okay? Or properties originally intended for use are no longer used but are transferred, disposed, or exchanged with other properties. So considered siya as deemed sale. Ano examples nila? Withdrawal by the business owner for personal use, goods held for sale or properties held for, for use. Na, man, ako, tamag ko, kung gadilat. Nila negosyo is dilata, then vatabon sila, then din kuha niya itong pilaka boxes, hindi e deem sales yan. Okay? Using goods held for sale of properties no, to pay off debt, that's yun in pago, sa loa na siya. Using goods held for sale or properties held for the use of property dividends, no, exchange of goods to use for other properties, and sale of disposal properties held for use in exchange for cash or other properties. No? Although on our part, Ba, hindi na yan sales, no? Huwag kong mani, huwag kong mani yagin baligya. But, for the BIR, may ruling. So, we need to follow. So, consignment of goods, no? Ito nga ba ko? Itong 60 days. Consigned goods or consignments, if not withdrawn, 60 days are also presumed to be sold, no? This is not an actual consumption, but the rule is apparently intended to prevent taxpayers from deferring recognition of output but by non-reporting or delayed reporting sales on consignment. Kasi nabaligya na pero wala pa ma maka-report si consignee eh, or ginatago. Hindi, e di ba? So, just to avoid no um, tax evading or tax evasion. So, that's why, no? Pero, yeah. Okay? <clears throat> pag normal, ganit nga tao, no? no? Dasig or damo ruling for tax evasion. Pero pag mabugat nga tao or mga big time, they are, ano, Nakakalusot. Alright? Retirement or cessation of business. So, remember that when the owner of business withdraw no, a certain merchandise for his personal consumption, much more ano, when he sees or retire the business um, where all the assets will become his personal disposal. So, the retirement or stoppage or cessation of the business result in a transfer of goods or all properties no, to his personal account. So, hence, it is also part of the deep sale. Okay. If the business is continued by new owner, the goods or properties of the business are effectively sold to the new owner. For example, na, ang isa ka business, maklose na ko, hindi na ko sinay mag-continue, pero ang properties ko ay pamaligya sa iban. Kasi may gusto mag-continue. Eh. So pag may gusto mag-continue, it is considered as sale or so. No? So general rule. So change of ownership of the, the business, incorporation of a sole proprietorship, 
sale by, sale by a proprietor to of his entire business, dissolution, no creation of new partnership, or by incorporation into a, per, into a partnership. So <clears throat> when there is no business dissolution, there is no dim sale just as the following cases. Change of controlling shareholders. Wala man stop ang business. Change in trade or corporate name. Change in, in business address. Wala nag-close ang business. The moment nga nag-close ang business, dara lang ma-account for dim sale. As long na wala nag-close ang business or nag-stop or nag-cessation sa business, ang operation, um, wala, wala sa sang dim sales nga matabo. No? Like this, sa examples. Exception to the business solution rule. Merger or consolidation. Consolidation. Cessation of status as what registered uh, person. Okay, so there is no business solution but it's treated as dim sale. Okay? So the output VAT on DIM sales transaction shall be based on the market value sold no, as of the occurrence of the DIM sale transaction, kung ano yung selling price. However, in the case of retirement, it's based on the acquisition costs or the current market price, whichever is lower. No? Kasi gani, kay ka, the close ka na, or bankrupt ka na. So they they give you some, some, some leeway also. Okay? Okay, so gamay na lang. Deem sales rules apply only to VAT taxpayers. Yes. Alright. Kapag non-VAT, wala man na apply No, It must be noted that the concept and rules of deem sales are only applied to VAT taxpayers. No, They do not apply to non-VAT taxpayers. Okay. Billing requirements. So the output VAT must be um, specifically indicated in the VAT invoice or receipt. It must be billed separately in the case of sales of properties where the fair value exceeds the selling price. No. Requirement, recibo. Determination of the output VAT, the amount of output VAT, VAT is dependent upon the price quoted by the VAT taxpayer. So, sinong gapatong sang VAT kita, kay kikita man ang presyo as a taxpayer. Such amount is understood to be inclusive of the VAT in the absence of a special agreement to the contrary. Okay? So, if the VAT is not separately billed on the document sale, the selling price to consideration stated therein shall be deemed to be inclusive of the VAT. Kung for example, ginlista mo, wala mo gin-separate, so consider siya as inclusive of VAT. Now, if the VAT is incorrectly billed, the total amount billed by the taxpayer shall be deemed exclusive, inclusive of the VAT. No? May arap again. No? For example, mixed transactions, then ang imo nga resibo sa mga non-VAT is ginbutang mo sa VAT without notice or without some considerations, consider siya as part of the output VAT. Alright? Samo na siya. So, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. No, sa aton ng group and or you can PM me just make sure nga um, my, your question and my answer will be posted sa aton ng group para no para sa tanan mabalan manila and para sa mga similar nga questions at least ma-address nang daan right so thank you for coming and god bless everyone